Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and today I have come up with a very amazing problem. So here is the statement of this problem. A uniform string having a uniform linear mass density of K0 and a total mass of M0 is hanging from the support of an elevator as shown in the figure. The elevator is moving upwards with an acceleration of A0. The lowest point of the string is at a depth of H0 from the suspension point of the elevator. The hanging string takes a shape as shown. So there are a series of questions. So it is a modification of a very standard catenary problem here. However, here we will try to find out radius of curvature without using the <coughs> shape of this uh, string. So here there are four questions. Number one, the radius of curvature of the string at the lowest point. Uh, number two, tension in the string at the support. Here we have to find out the tension. Uh, tension at the lowest point of the string and angle made by the string with the horizontal at the support. So we have to comment on this angle also. All right. So uh, let's start. So here, uh, in order to understand this, uh, since this elevator is moving with acceleration of A0 upwards, so it's better to solve this question in the frame of uh, in the frame of this lift or elevator then it will appear like uh, as if this chain is placed in uniform gravity with the g effective as a plus g naught you can say all right there are few more uh, radius of curvature of uh, curvature question so the links are given in the description or you can click on the i button all right so here it is so first, in order to calculate this uh, radius of curvature, calculations of radius of curvature here, you can see at the lowest mo uh, lowermost point here, lowest point, let's say tension is uh, T1. So if I magnify this part and I take this small uh, section of this string and if I magnify it, it is going to appear somewhat like this. So here effective uh, weight of this will become dm into g plus a0 for this element and the tension t1 is acting t1 and t1 here and this angle is d theta by 2. So I can say the net force towards the center of this will become 2t sin d theta by 2 which is balanced by the effective weight of it which is dm into g plus a0. When I simplify dm is radius of curvature rc into d theta I can uh, definitely write this here. This is d theta by 2. This is also d theta by 2. Here by 2 should uh, come. So I'll just uh, make that uh, changes. Uh, by 2 should come in this part. So here you can uh, see because earlier I have taken uh, in the calculation by 2. So here also I'll prefer writing by 2. All right. So now. When I balance these forces, I am going to get this RC is equal to T1 by K0 times G plus A0. So K0 is known to us. G plus A0 is also known to us. So if somehow I can find out this tension T1, if this value is known to me, I'll get the answer for radius of curvature. And in the one of the part, we have to find this tension at lowermost point as well. So in order to calculate now the tension T1 here, I will take uh, the free body diagram of the half part of the chain and here if this tension is T1 definitely at the support this tension must be T1 because because uh, the string is in equilibrium and this vertical tension uh, component if this angle is alpha here this angle is also going to be alpha so this vertical component I can write T1 tan alpha or total tension will be t1 times root of 1 plus tan square alpha this is the total tension at the support and vertical component however is t1 tan alpha so this t1 tan alpha is going to be total effective weight divided by 2 which is going to be m0 g plus a0 by 2 so here we are getting the expression of T1 but we are introducing one extra unknown as well. So if somehow I can find this tan alpha, I'll be getting the T1 and I'll be getting the tension at this uh, point also and also I'll be getting the radius of curvature. So now our job is to find out this unknown angle alpha. So calculation of this angle alpha here. 
now i can uh, see since this uh, the part hanging part of the chain or rope or a string is at rest so net force on it will be balanced so here this tension i can take uh, let's say at general x if i take an element it is making angle of uh, theta with the horizontal so at x tension is uh, total tension i'm saying it is t and it is along the length of the string and here tension is changing slightly that is going to be t plus dt these angles are also changing but those are minute changes in order to form the differential equation i can say along this line forces must be balanced and since actually these angles are going to be some theta 1 and theta 2 so there will be one component of tension this side as well which is balancing the dmg uh, cos theta and uh, this gap of tension is going to balance dmg sin theta so here i can write uh, this tension is t and this is t plus dt so this dt is going to be mass per unit length into length of it that is mass into effective g effective g i'm calling as g star so that i have to write uh, slightly lesser it will not be a big expression so k naught dl is that mass into g star into its sine theta component that must be equal to d theta when i do that when i do that here uh, i can see this dl sin theta this dl sin theta is nothing but this dy because i haven't used information of uh, this gap h that this gap from the suspension point is h i have to bring that h somehow in my calculations in order to reach to the answer for that now i'm having this dy dy is the total change in y coordinate of the chain so here tension is t1 and it goes to t star i'm calling which is uh, t1 times root of 1 plus tan square alpha so here i can write uh, t star minus t1 that is the integral dt and uh, limit of y goes from 0 to h naught so k naught g star h naught now let's substitute the value t star is t1 times root of 1 plus tan square alpha minus t1 and this uh, g star is g plus a naught so substitute the values here simplify and i'm going to get 1 minus cos alpha by sine alpha is equal to 2 k naught h by m naught so it's a quite simple relation if we further we solve it we get this tan alpha as tan alpha by 2 as 2 k naught h by m naught so it's a very clean answer here alpha is known to me so i can find out the tan alpha value here because i'll be using it I'll be using this tan alpha in order to find the total tension at the topmost point. So when I use this formula and uh, I substitute value, so I'm going to get this tan alpha as this. I'm not explaining these uh, calculations. So you can do uh, very simple calculations are there. Now I'll go back to the previous equations which I have derived. And that was RC is equal to T1 divided by K0 G plus A0. And T1 tan alpha was M0 G plus A0 by 2. So here I can see the value of T1 by G plus A0. And I can get from here T1 by G plus A0 which is going to be M0 by 2 tan alpha. So by K0. So this is my uh, radius of curvature. I can substitute the tan alpha value which I have derived here. And uh, when I simplify this, when I simplify this, I am going to get RC is equal to M0 square divided by 8 h naught k naught square minus h naught by 2 this is going to be the answer for this problem and once i know rc and tan alpha i can find t max also and if i substitute this tan alpha value here i'll be getting this t1 also though those steps i'm not writing here but uh, i hope it is known to you that all four options are all four questions which were asked are known to you so this is it I hope you have enjoyed this solution. This is a very unique problem and very nice problem as well. Without using the equation of curve, we are able to find this radius of uh, curvature. So check out other problems of radius of curvature on my channel. So uh, if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like, share your uh, uh, comments with me and suggestions also. And uh, please uh, uh, share this video with uh, all your friends and teachers. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe it. Thank you. Thank you very much.